Joining us today for a discussion of industrial cybersecurity is Barack Perlman, who's CEO and co-founder of Indigy. Welcome, Barack. Thank you, Sid. Thank you for having me. Uh, to begin with this discussion, could you just give us a brief summary or a brief overview of what Indigy does? Of course. So Indigy was founded uh, about two years ago to bring IT security expertise and ICS hands-on experience together to bring industrial security solutions to the ICS uh, emerging industry um, by providing both cybersecurity solution and also add advantage to the operational benefits for the industrial engineers themselves, thus encouraging them to use and implement cybersecurity solutions. You know, we've seen a big increase in ICS cybersecurity attacks and things like that over the last couple of years. Uh, what do you think are the biggest challenges these companies face in securing their facilities? So I think that before we talk about security challenges, let's talk about the challenge of the industry overall, which I think for the industrial sector is mostly efficiency. And in efforts to mitigate and increase efficiency, um, people are connecting between their different plants, the utilities, the industrial infrastructure. This essentially introduces cyber risks when everything is now connected back to the network. Um, the biggest gap is now that mostly up until now, IT security personnel were in charge of cybersecurity, but they lack understanding of how industrial control systems actually operate and maintained, and what's really important there, which is of course the uptime, availability, safety. We try to mitigate that gap by taking the concepts and implementing them into the control layer of industrial control systems, essentially focusing on the biggest gap, which is the visibility of what is my industrial control system currently doing? How are they managing the physical equipment? And uh, as I said before, visibility is the building block both for security and for operations. The fact that um, I believe the biggest gap is that I have no idea, either as a plant manager or as a security manager, of what my PLCs, my RTUs, my industrial controllers are doing at any given moment. And this is what Indigy tries to bring to the table and bring the visibility into. Is, is that what differentiates Indigy, or would you like to comment on other things that makes Indigy a more unique solution? So I'd be happy to emphasize uh, what Indigy brings that is uh, unique. Um, so first of all, the visibility into the inner components of industrial controllers. The ladder logic running inside of them, the firmware, um, is a very unique technology that only Indigy knows how to analyze in a vendor agnostic environment. So either you have a Siemens or Schneider Electric or an Emerson or an MBB controllers, we can give you the insight into what they're currently doing. On top of that, one of the things we put emphasis on is not only monitoring the network traffic back and from the industrial controllers, but also querying the controllers themselves. Essentially, one of the biggest blind spots is that engineers and system integrators that come into my facility, they can connect directly to the industrial controllers, either serial uh, devices or by a thumb drive. And then, doesn't matter how much network monitoring solution I have, I will be blind to these changes. The fact that the Indigy platform queries these controllers and pulls their entire configuration stack from them, again, the firmware, the ladder logic, the parameters, gives us the ability to provide really 100% guarantee that your industrial configuration in the industrial controllers was not changed, neither from the network nor physically on the device. I think that's one of the uh, unique things about Indigy's technology. I want to add one thing with your permission about the approach is that we understood long ago that when we query the devices, when we um, give you the visibility into changes, we can also get operational benefits. The fact that we can document these changes, the fact that we can have complete asset mapping of your industrial controllers also gives many operational benefits as well. The fact that I know for each industrial controller, its current IP address, MAC address, when was it last updated, what was the last change, gives a lot of operational benefits, not just in the event of a cyber attack. You know, uh, a lot of the th things we read about, a lot of things I as an analyst read about is, is concern on nation states and terrorists attacking the plant. Well, you know, I understand that if I have a big refinery or something, but what if I'm just a regular manufacturer and no one really cares about me? At least I don't think, is there still application for your product? Right. So, yes, of course. <laughs> and I want to relate that in two uh, ways. The first one, Let's talk about the nation state uh, threat and the malware, external cyber attacks, essentially. 
So one of the examples in the Dragonfly Black Energy campaign in 2014 is that one of the methods to infiltrate uh, into uh, power plants was that they hacked into one of the industrial vendors' website. They replaced a software patch with one containing also the malware itself. The vendor noticed that after about 12 hours, replaced and fixed it. In those 12 hours, about 250 downloads of the patch was downloaded around the world. Essentially, the engineers, only wanting to patch their systems, took their thumb drive, installed it in the SCADA network, in the DCS network, and infected themselves with a patch. And the fact is that the attacker only wanted to get to a specific refinery, like you said, but if he uh, creates collateral damage, the fact that I'm a small plant packaging uh, industrial equipment, he doesn't care and can still disrupt my operations. So that's one thing, the worry, the concern from collateral damage. Another thing is that I have to say, what, while cyber threats and nation states and malware gets a lot of media attention, what we're seeing on the ground and what our customers mostly care about is what we target under the, in the, the insider threat. Essentially, two categories here as well. First one, I have system integrators currently constantly coming into my plant, bringing their own equipment and might infect my network with malware. On top of that, they uh, might perform mistakes, human error. They don't have an updated IP address for a controller. They connect to the wrong one, update its firmware, disrupting operations. So we put that under cybersecurity as well, essentially more cyber incidents. Any misconfigurations that occur in the network is something that we can provide to our customers. Okay, can you give us some examples of customers using your product and the kind of benefits that they're getting from it? Of course. So I can't go into specific names, uh, obviously, because that highlights a target on, uh, on these customers. Um, but most of the cases we are seeing, uh, what encourage the customers to implement and what we've seen later on uh, is what I mentioned under the insider threat, essentially, um, in one uh, place that we installed. So once we installed the system, first of all, like I talked before, it queried all the devices, created an updated asset management. That was the stage where we discovered these five controllers. Everyone thought they disconnected five years ago. They had no idea they existed. So now they can better maintain uh, their network. What happened uh, later on is that a system integrator came into the facility, updated a firmware uh, and ladder logic in a wrong PLC, and left the facility. Two weeks later, they understood that one of their manufacturing lines is operating not the way it should be. Um, and then they referred to our system, essentially to see what were all the changes for that specific PLC in the last uh, two weeks. And they saw the change. They saw exactly which code blocks were changed. And they were able both to understand there was an error and update a different controller, and also to revert to the previous state that we've been created a backup for them. So that was, uh, a good, uh, that was the main benefit that customer gained. Well, thank you, Barack, for a very informative and interesting discussion. It's my pleasure. Thank you for having me, Sint. Uh, we've been speaking with Barack Perlman, CEO and co-founder of Indigy. Uh, thank you for watching.